So yeah, I noticed you're having like an independent, uh, I guess you could say demonstration out here. That's yeah, May Day. It is May Day. It's May Day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your sign, no gods, no managers, and corporate feudalism. Yeah, that's uh, that's the message for today. Interesting. Um, so it's a many people may know like it's a take on the no gods, no masters concept and anarchist uh, saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just more pointing towards like, you know, the corporate system and how that's really not designed to benefit the well-beings of individuals and communities. It's designed to concentrate wealth to the elite population of our country. And would you say that you see any changes recently like in the direction that things are going as far as like Occupy seemed to be a movement that like it seemed like maybe there was a change happening in the United States But do you see any sort of like political changes or cultural changes as a result of well, recent I mean, social progress? Or? Yeah, there's I don't I definitely don't think uh, Like the consciousness that Occupy brought up is, is dead, you know I think that people are still like conscious, but nothing has really come up yet and I think maybe we might see some interesting things happen with this new election, especially when you have like another Bush and another Clinton, you know, vying for the top spot. It's like, come on, like, what is this? You know, like, we don't live in a dynasty, or do we? You know, so, you know, I think that could be some interesting things. Uh, I think a lot of people are really disappointed with Obamacare, uh, and in fact, with the Obama administration in general. So hopefully, you know, just the left will continue to rally and, and get support and, 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 you know, just try and make another move uh, for, for a more just future. I know that there were many, like, as far as libertarian or anarchist principles go, there were some people that put a lot of faith in the Ron Paul president, in, in the potential Ron Paul presidency and thought that that would either happen or bring about some change. Yeah, I mean, libertarianism, I think, is... is uh, I don't know, it's it's dicey, you know, like they say kind of the right things, but then when you really look at like what they're saying about like totally free markets and all of that, it still lends itself to concentrating wealth and it doesn't exactly call into, you know, the whole social justice factor. It doesn't call into like, well, what's best for the community? It's still sort of like, how do we, you know, privately concentrate wealth versus like, how do we collectively organize ourselves to benefit everyone around us and the planet? Mm -hmm. So cool, you bring up some concerns that you see that like the left side of uh, anarchism or political thought has that maybe like what's considered the right doesn't. And I'd say to a large extent, Rand Paul is like not really living up to the principles or some of the principles that his father espoused especially when you hear him talk about like closing borders and militarizing the borders right, and yeah. that sort of thought. And yeah. also foreign policy sounds like it could be a warmonger. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, do, do you see any potential? I haven't really followed Bernie Sanders, but I know a lot of people that are interested in social progress put a lot of faith in him. Like, do you see any potential there? Or do you think the political system itself shouldn't really be dependent upon? Yeah, I really think the political system itself needs a whole lot of retooling, you know? Um, I'm not really familiar with Bernie Sanders, you know, I, I know who he is, but I mean, uh, yeah, I think the whole system in America needs to be totally revamped, and I would say I would be for a much smaller government, you know, like, we need to disempower the national government, bring more power to the states and local municipalities get more people locally involved so it's more of a direct democracy. What we don't, what we have now is not democracy, you know. And so I think, yeah, there's a whole new direction that we need to go and uh, we're just not, we're still stuck in this two-party system, you know, Democrats and Republicans and it's just not, I don't think anyone's happy with it, but it's like, well, what are we going to do? Yeah. So, and people rationally think the best thing to do is ignore it and just try and better like you know their own lives it's like a lot of people say there's a lot of apathy but in a sense it's like it makes sense for people to ignore something like that because it's just such a huge time sink and energy sink and yeah it's huge i mean it's a huge machine and like yeah i think people will throw their hands up because they don't know how to engage with it you know it's like well government uh, i mean do i become a politician like what do i do and yeah i think people are really disconnected from like what they like what their agency is like what their potential could be to like make a difference plus you know they're busy and they got their lives and their families and their jobs I mean there's a whole cultural like problem as well that goes along with the political problem I mean they everything's sort of intertwined 
And uh, yeah, it's like, what do you do? Well, <laughs> you can hold up signs. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what sort of response have you seen to your signs? Have you seen people uh, noticing it or confused yeah, by people, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, I get some honks on the horn. One guy was going to come and stand out here with me, but then he's like, uh, I got to go do some other stuff. I was like, whatever, you know, that's fine. Um, you know, I think one guy, he looked at the, the no gods and he's like, he's like, no, no, there's a god. And he didn't really get, like, you know, what I was trying to I was thinking that would be a lot of people's reaction here it would be like is that an anti-religious thing yeah and it's not yeah it's really not I try to you know if, if someone were to come and ask me like oh are you an atheist are you anti you know you know theist and I'm like well no no like that's not what that means you know it's just like know, it's like more alluding to like ultimate power and like you know that kind of it's God's plural you know it's like also like the false god of, of consumerism you know like the there's more to life than your big screen TV and your iPad and all that. So that's that's kind of what I'm um, kind of pointing and trying to point towards. But yeah, I mean, I wish more people would stop and, and like engage, you know, like a lot of people just kind of blow by in their cars and they're like, you know, whatever, on their way home from work. And at least like, you know, I guess I'm hoping that like there's some, something will stick, you know, there's like, you know, just something will stick in their consciousness, like, they might mull it over, like, oh, like, what, what, like, what is that? Or, you know, or, like, I see kid. my favorite is the kids in the, in the school buses, you yeah. know, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, look, look, like, read this and go home and, like, like, Wikipedia, you know, like, look it up, what does it mean? And, you know, but, yeah, not a whole lot of, like, response, really, I mean, but that's to be expected. Cool. Well, thanks for being out here and making, like, introducing ideas into the, the public sphere here. Yeah, you know, it's not a bad place to do it. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing what I can. <laughs> cool, thank you. Yeah.